Sandy Weishart in my very first attempt <laughs> at a video thing for you. So anyway, hi everybody. I um, hope you're all well. I hope you've all kicked the butt of whatever this virus is that's going around because I'm not having any fun and I think it's time for me to get well now. Yes, I'm sick. But anyway, um, I got this crazy idea because I had a sock that I am <laughs> repairing the hole in and I thought I might do a little video on how I did that. But first, let's share some project stuff because that's always fun. So this is, <laughs> this is a blob of pink wool. No, really, um, this is the beginnings of my clapoti. Clapoti, how do you say that? Um, and as you can see, it doesn't look anything like the picture. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this, it's done on the bias, so I'm knitting back and forth this way, like that. But that's actually along the side, and so if you turn it, it's going to be like this is the bottom here, and then this is the side edge over here. So it just keeps growing out this way, like diagonally, and... Uh, the yarn that I have is really, really fun. Nuffles gave it to me. Thank you, Nuffles. It's 50% uh, yak and 50% cormo, I ask you. Is there a better blend in the entire world? I don't think so. It's from Bijou Basin. Let me get out the little tag for you. Bijou, um, yes, Bijou Basin. And here it it's called Bijou Basin Ranch. And this is called Bijou Bliss. And as you can see, down here, 50-50. Um, and this particular put-up that they've done is a gradient. You can't really tell because I've used the pink center. So that's the, the, all of this is pink center. That's the little bit I have left. And then we'll go into this purple thing. And then, of course, it's across the room, never mind. I have two more balls, one of which goes from this uh, dark purple here, dark lavender, to a lighter lavender, and the other one goes from like a lighter lavender to a lavender gray. So I'm hoping it's gonna be a really nice, um, colorful, bright, you know, sort of project. Um, for those of you who maybe looked at the picture of the Clapotee and you don't really understand what's going on, because you've seen those long lines of the drop stitches, right? Well, this is where it's really clever because, all right, here's the, here's the plane you're knitting on. You're, that's the wrong side facing you. Here's the right side facing you. Um, and yes, those are lifelines because it's me. Um, and what the, what she, what the designer, this is by um, Kate, uh, Kate Gilbert. Thank you, Kate, for this wonderful, wonderful absorbing, um, but not too hard pattern. What she's done is before and after every marker, there's three stitches, three, three columns, and the, what, this column here and this column here are twisted stitches, and the one in the middle is plain stitch. And so what the twisted stitch columns do is they create a structure so that when you do drop down the middle stitch, that plain stitch, it drops down, but it doesn't unravel everything, and it doesn't make a mess out of it. So it, it those two um, twisted stitch columns on either side of the plain stitch sort of form a, a, the, the sides of a ladder, if you will, so then you drop down the stitch. I think this was a brilliant design. I've never knit it before because I don't like to knit with the cool kids <laughs> are knitting. I, I'm a little rebellious, I guess. If the cool kids are knitting it, I have to wait five years. So, um, but it really was silly to wait to do this because it's really, it's a good knit for when you're like in the car or something and you have to keep on a conversation with somebody like your spouse or something. Good project. So that's one of the things I've been working on. Um, I've also been working on, I think I might have mentioned that I'm working on these little felt toys and I don't have the other three here to show you, but this one was just close enough. Um, this is a little bird. Flap, 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 flap. 
And as you can see, the little bird, besides having cat hair on his tummy, has a green tummy. And he's supposed to be suspended from strings, one from his head, two from here. I just haven't, I haven't gotten that far. Um, but as you can see, it's all hand done. It's very easy. It's either blanket stitch or um, up here I did some uh, whip stitch here. I chose to use, because it's me, <laughs> I didn't just draw on the eyes with a little thing like you might do or a little, do a little French knot. No, because they're beads. I don't know if you can see that they're actually little crystals. They're Swarovski crystals, Swarovski, whatever. See how they glimmer? Yeah. And then there's one on the other side here too. And so see, that's because it's me. Um, anyway, I really like the little bird. That's his back. And he's frightfully easy to do. Um, this is a design by Cynthia Treen. Cynthia Treen, T-R-E-E-N, on Etsy. And she sh uh, her shop is called... No, I think it's just called Cynthia Treen Studios. And she does birds and uh, lots of little critters. Like she does the most adorable little foxes that you can sew and they have little outfit, little outfits. It's like you're 12 again, right? <laughs> or I'm 12 again. And uh, she has a raccoon with a rain. It's, if you're into, <laughs> if you're into cute, Cynthia Treen in Etsy. Um, and uh, I'll post that on the, the blog so that you have the link. <laughs> but, you know, she does nice little touches. One of the nice little things she did was there's a little flower pattern, see? And it's supposed to be the dove carrying. There you go. The dove is supposed to carry the flower in its mouth. So you just sew a couple stitches on like that. And then it, when it hangs, you know, it's all cute. It's, it's adorable. I decided, because it's me, um, that I didn't do like a, it was like a, a lily or something. I did a fuchsia drop. See, there's a little insides. Beads, of course, beads. Little fuchsia drop, because, of course, it reminds me of California. Um, outside my childhood bedroom in one of the houses we lived in uh, there was a whole fence line with uh, fuchsias of all different colors hanging out there and I remember just thinking they were like little fairy houses those fuchsia bushes so I'm, I think that was really fun and it's um, just so you know it's it's uh, two thin pieces of felt sewn together with the blanket stitch and two little flower bits sewn together, and in the mi middle is three beads in D Bob's your uncle. So it's that's that wasn't hard at all. So I will put that on the bird. Um, I've made two other birds, and I've made. Uh, I'm about to start making a really cute little kit from Cynthia that I'm not going to show you yet because it's too cute. Um, later, not now. And um, I have also made a couple of dolls, the little little tiny felt dolls. One is five and one is eight or nine inches. And um, I'll show it to you when they're completely done. Um, those are from also a lady on Etsy named Shelly, and she runs the shop uh, Ginger Melon, Ginger Melon on Etsy. And you've been warned about the cute. Um, put your credit card on the opposite side of the house, okay? In the garage, something. And then you can have fun looking. Um, I feel like this last month has been really hard because I've been sick, so sick. Um, I, you know, the doctor thinks it's something like walking pneumonia, but it's not exactly and whatever. So I've spent a lot of time at home and I am, And um, probably the reason I'm talking to the phone is because I haven't talked to an adult human being 
besides Melody, I mean, you know, an adult human being for weeks. Now, Dusty, who's over there, is very good at trying to carry on a conversation. So I've been doing a lot of crafts, and I've been doing a lot of writing, and um, although <laughs> you wouldn't know because you haven't seen it on the site, you know, on my blog site, I think I just needed to write. A lot of this season has been so full of drama on the news and and the the events have just had such a big impact on everyone and I, I do have a couple Canadian friends who are like why do you care it doesn't affect us in Canada at all and I'm like you see that border down there that that's do you know who's on the other side of that border yeah so and you know how much of Canada's imports and exports involve, yeah, I think it's something like 70% of our exports go down to the nice people in the United States. So it does. It does affect us. And I think we got, Canadians got a really cold shock in the face when uh, the Muslims were shot in the mosque in Quebec. And I remember hearing at the time that something like the U.S. disease has now come up to Canada. So we have to wait and see. We have to have hope. And if you're someone who's delighted with the current situation, please pray. Because we all need it. Um, so that's that. It's been, as I say, really hard to be housebound. Um, I have had many conversations with the cats. I've had many conversations with myself. I have written um, many, uh, well, the polite amongst you will call them essays. Uh, the less discreet amongst you might call them um, um, most of them addressed to our current president, America's current president, and uh, a few, and I, not 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 uh, not not just a few, but a, a, a few um, addressed to Michelle Obama, and one to her husband because why not? But it's interesting, and I, no, I haven't sent any of these. These are just my ramblings on my computer. It has really helped, actually, to write to Michelle. Michelle. I admire her greatly. And I think that our entire country has a lot to learn from Michelle. Still, we still do. Um, in terms of graciousness and kindness passion and passion and standing up and doing all of that and not annihilating the enemy. I think that that's, she's done a remarkable job. Anyway, <clears throat> Michelle for president 2020. No, I know it's not good for her. <laughs> anyway, um, the other thing I'm going to show you, just because I can right now, we're getting on to 15 minutes, that's about when I was going to stop, is if you look over here, look at that, isn't that pretty? That is my quilt. That's the Candy Squares quilt. And as you can see up in the corner here, that's the part I'm hand, hand quilting right now. It's the, all the white spaces. Um, each of those white spaces is going to have its own little motif. And so that's square. Um, is one I'm working on and I'll talk more about that in my next little blurb about hand quilting. So I love it. I get this little WordPress thing right now that says your stats are booming. Everybody's looking at Wiseheart Knits and I'm thinking great I haven't posted for two weeks humans. So um, I'm going to just put this up. But there you go. For what it's worth. Um, this is me. Candy Weisheart, at home with the cats, 
and my crafts. And, and yes, that is the washing machine in the background. I mean, you know, I got to do my laundry too. Um, and I wish you a warm day, warm evening, warm in here, and um, as much joy as you can hold today. Okay, talk to you later. Mm -hmm.